Hi friends, como estas? How are y'all doing? I hope you're doing well um, and just staying home and staying healthy like always. So today we are going to be reviewing rhyming words. Rhyming words. Do you remember what rhyming words are? Show me this sign if you remember. Yeah, so rhyming words. Here, we have it right here. If you remember this. Rhyming words are words that sound the same at the end. Rhyming words are words that sound the same at the end. So some ex examples could be bat, hat, cup, pup, right? Ball, hall. We even came up with some examples yesterday together and we figured out if those words rhymed, right? So last time we went over rhyming words, we had this list and we figured out that B and tree, they do rhyme, they rhyme because they have the same ending. E, E, B, tree, yep. They rhyme. Rain drop. Oh, rain drop. They do not rhyme. They do not rhyme, right? Because they do not have the same ending, the same sound. So we put an X right there. Fish, dish. They do have the same ending sound. Ish. Ish. D, d, dish. You know what? So I'm actually going to underline the same sounding at the end of each word. So we knew that B and tree, they do rhyme because they have the same sound at the end. Rain, drop, they do not rhyme. They do not have the same sound at the end. Fish, ish. Dish, yes, they do rhyme. They do have the same sound at the end. And book, 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 hook, hook, book and hook, they do have the same sound at the end. So they do rhyme. Great work. So that was some quick review of rhyming words. Today, we are going to write some sentences, okay? Vamos a escribir las frases. Entonces, oops. No, oh, that's okay. I'm gonna write it. So, the first word that we're going to work with and create a sentence together is this one. What word do you see? If we sound it out, what letter is this right here? This is an R, R, and an R sounds like er, er, er. U, r, uh, 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 like umbrella. Run, n, run, run. That's the word that we're going to be working with today. Run, and then I drew a picture of a person running. Okay, run, run. Let's try and think of a sentence that we could write with run. Run, run. Maybe I run fast. I run fast. Hmm. Okay, so I, I, the letter I, capital I, I run, run. I'm going to add another word before I say fast. I'm going to say I run so fast. I run so fast. So, that's a sight word. So, s -s 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 -o, so, so, so. Oh, 
so fast, fast. Sound it out. F, 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 f. A, 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 a. Fast, s, again. Fast, t, t, t. I run so fast. Now, we could put a period at the end. That's a punctuation mark that we know that we could put at the end of the sentence. But you know what we could also put at the end of the sentence? An exclamation point. Because I want you all to know that not only can I run, but I can run so fast. So I think with all that excitement, I want to put an exclamation point at the end of this sentence. So that's what I'm going to do. I run so fast. Good work, everyone. Ready for the next word? All right. Okay, the next word I have here is sun, 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 sun. <gasps> Friends, oh, here's Kiki. <laughs> All right. Okay, sun is the next word. Friends, sun and run the word we just did, sun and run, do those words rhyme? They do, sun and run rhyme. They have the same ending. Cool, all right, so here's another rhyming word with run, so we have sun. What's a good sentence that we could write with the word sun? What is sun in it? Maybe, the sun, the sun is outside. The sun is outside. Let's try that. The, that's a sight word. The, T-H-E, the, okay? The sun, which we see right here, the sun, S-U-N, the sun is, that's another sight word, is, it is, I-S, is, out, out, outside, out, O U T outside. That's the second part of that word. S I'd S S S I I. Outside, d, 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 outside. Good. Now, the word outside, we spelled that correctly with the sound, with us hearing the sounds of each letter and putting that letter down. However, outside, it even has, it has the letter E, E at the end. Now it's kind of goofy. This E, we're not actually saying the letter E or pronouncing the sound of the letter E in this word outside. This E 
is a silent E. We don't hear it. Some words have silent E's at the end. And when we see a silent E like this, we know that it takes the last vowel in this word, which is the I right here, and it makes it say its name. This silent E makes this vowel I say its name, I. If we didn't have this silent E here, it would sound like outsid, outsid. But we put the E here, so now it's making it say its name, outside. We are going to practice this more in the future, but that was a little glimpse into what the silent E does. So the sun is outside. And I'm just going to put a period, un punto, at the end. The sun is outside. I see a capital uppercase letter at the very first word. And I see a punctuation mark at the very end of the sentence. Good work, everyone. We reviewed rhyming words and we even created sentences together with two words, sun and run, that rhymed. Good work, everyone, and I can't wait to send out another video for, an, so for some more word work review. All right, have a good day today, and we'll talk soon. Bye.